Thank you, and I want to thank the Mercatus uh, for having us today. Uh, Congressman Mack and I are kind of a team, um, and, and our approach to this will be in a team way. I'm going to paint the bleak picture that really points out why we need to do what he and I are doing. And uh, he actually recruited me on the, on the Penny Plan, and uh, it's an outstanding idea. It's gaining traction. It's easy to understand and easy to explain. And America's been doing that as individuals, but they don't understand why the country can't do it. So, but in order to get people to understand why we need to make a cut at all, they need to understand the situation that our country's in. Now, the Senate had a bill that would have formed a debt commission, and that debt commission was charged with finding a plan for solving the debt. Now, unfortunately, some of the people that co-sponsored the amendment, did not, the bill did not vote for it because they were afraid that it would wind up just raising taxes. And as a result, it didn't pass. But the president saw the value of doing that, and he appointed a debt commission, and he had Erskine Bowles and Alan Simpson be the co-chairs on it. And uh, they did some very impressive work, um, mostly in pointing out the detrimental situation that our country's in right now. And that's, that's a real key. You've got to understand how bad it is. You can't just imagine that we can keep printing money and spending money and doing new programs, all of which are really good ideas. Well, most of them are. Some of them are really bad ideas. But uh, we just keep spending money. And uh, <clears throat> the president, uh, when he did his State of the Union message, I was hoping would paint the bleak picture that that, that, that Debt Commission did, but he didn't. Instead, he presided. He presented a budget, and the budget was another stimulus. And the budget called for a lot more spending. And a year ago, the Senate voted on that, and the vote on it was 97 to nothing. Now he had to present another budget this year, and he did pretty much the same thing. And the vote on it was in the House this year, and it was 414 to nothing. That's not a solution. You got, if you have that kind of a defeat, you've got to look someplace else for it. And I think this penny plan is one place we can go for it. But we have a national debt that's approaching $16 trillion. Now, I don't know of anybody that knows what a trillion is. But I have seen a T-shirt by a young person that said, please don't tell them what comes after a trillion. <clears throat> that's what you're faced with. Every man, woman, and child in the United States right now owes $49,000 in federal debt. That's besides any other debt that you have. And if the country collapses, we may have to collect on that. Wouldn't be possible, would it? $49,000. Now, you've seen what's been happening in Greece and Italy. In Greece and Italy, they've been having riots. And one of the reasons they have riots is they had to do a 19% cut in one year. 19%. That's, that's of absolutely everything. They had to end government contracts. They had to cut pensions. Everything got cut. Now, I said that we owe $49,000 per person. In Italy, they only owe $40,000 per person. In Greece, they only owe $39,000 per person. But with this debt, the bond rates are going up dramatically. In the last month, they went up 30 points. Now, if that continues, in 10 years, we'll owe $26 trillion, and the only thing we'll be able to do is pay the interest on the debt. It will take every dime of tax revenue that we have and may require additional taxes just to cover the interest. It won't pay for Medicare. It won't pay for Medicaid. It won't pay for Social Security. It won't pay for... Uh, defense or education or anything else that you see the federal government participating in. As an accountant, it keeps me up nights. And I've checked with the other accountant, it keeps him up nights too. Now, we do a, a lot of things to make it look like it's not as bad. Whenever we bring up a bill now, we say, well, we're going to offset that. We're going to get a pay for for it. And so we find some other place in the budget to steal some money and put it toward the new program. Well, let me tell you, in the uh, highway bill that's being debated right now, trying to be conferenced, part of that money came from pensions. There's a thing called the Pension Benefit Guarantee Corporation. 
that companies have to pay in a fee in case they go broke, then that can pick up their pension fund. Well, that increase in fee is going to the highways now. We also did this clever little thing of saying, well, there are some areas where in 10 years there would be this much revenue, and that much revenue would fund two years of the highway bill. Well, what are we going to do two years from now? We're still waiting for eight years worth of revenue to come in to pay for what we've already spent. How many years out can you go before the bankers, which are the bondholders, which are you if you buy bonds, gonna, before you say, no more of that. We're not going to buy an American bond. Now, another little trick that we do is we do issue U.S. bonds to things like Social Security. Any time in the past that there was a surplus, what we did was spend the money and put an IOU in the drawer called a bond. And the way I found this out is we had a little thing called abandoned mine land in, in Wyoming where the companies were putting in so that we could fix abandoned mine lands. But the federal government kept holding that in trust. And when I got here, I said, I need to get that money. We need to be fixing some of the abandoned mines in Wyoming. And they said, well, if you put some money in, you can take some money out. I said, what kind of a bank account is that? It's a trust fund. Well, we found a way to, to do that. It, did, it just added to, well, it just kept the federal debt at the same level. But we are in a crisis, and we have to do something about it. And if you hope to have any of the federal benefits, you need to join one or more of the plans that will fix the budget. So what I'm going to do now is turn it over to Congressman Mack, who will explain to you how the penny plan works. And uh, this, this is the solution that will sell in America and really work. And I appreciate him recruiting me for it and others here who worked on recruiting me. Thank you, Senator. Thank you.